Hi, I'm Harry, so welcome to another SUP vlog. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking you behind the scenes of the SUP Border Pro uh, touring board review. We've got 22 boards on test and we're going to be doing a full review of them. So check out the SUP Border Pro full review of that coming out soon. And yeah, so today I'm just going to show you what part of that entails. There's going to be so many days of actually using these, uh, filming these to get this all done. It's going to be the biggest one yet. We've already done a load of the sort of technical specs, like the measurements, carrying them, the weights, things like that. So today's about getting out on the water, trying them out on the water and getting some footage of them. So we've got a list here of some of the things that we'll be looking at and asking the testers to rate. So around board ratings, we've got things like overall glide and speed, tracking, stability, how it performs on flat water as well as open water, um, things like fins and fittings and handles as well as weight and build quality. When it comes to things like storage, um, we talk about how much space there is on these boards to store your equipment, how big the bungees are, what the quality of the bungee systems are and what options you have as a tourer to use these boards. Okay, so because this is such a big test where we've got 22 boards, we've drafted some guest testers in. So we've got Gavin, Johnny and Rach who are helping us to paddle all these boards and come to our conclusions. So Ruben, you're, you're filming? Are you filming me? I'm filming them. No, you're filming, filming the filming. Well, you're asking me to multitask now, Harry, and that doesn't go down very well. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy will tell you that. That doesn't work. Yeah, just going to get shots of them all and, yeah, just try and get as much information as possible, really, on what filming on. So, I've done a bit of filming so far already. I'm gonna, now I'm going to get out in the water and have a go on some of the boards and try them out and see what we think. But, um, yeah, I'm obviously doing more filming them than reviewing so the other guys are going to be their contribution contributions going to be much greater than mine but it's always good to have someone heavier on the board as well and try it out so uh, let's see how we go oh. So I've been out on just over half the boards now and you can notice a real big difference between them despite them all being marketed as the same sort of board. You know, some feel so much faster, some are much heavier, um, some are much more stable uh, and, and some are much more flexible than others as well. And it's getting that combination of those things right at the right price point and that's, that's why we're here. So if you want to find out which ones we think are the best ones and which ones we think are the fastest or the most stable, um, then check out the, the review on Sup Border Pro and uh, you'll get the full insights to it all. Okay, so we've spent the last three, three, four hours paddling all the boards. Everyone's been getting their thoughts, jotting down some ideas. Now we're going to come together as a group and discuss our findings and try and come to some conclusions about what we think about these boards. That makes sense, it's quite wide in the nose. Didn't yeah. feel like, you see it like felt all right. nice and stable. Like yeah. One of the more stable, I think. I would guess Trucks it's pretty nice stiff. Well. I think it looks pretty stiff. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the look of it, but it just didn't get in a straight line. And then. I think for the price point, you know, you're going, you, you're spending quite a lot of money for it, I think. Yeah. So that's the end of today's uh, filming for the Supporter Pro 
review on all of these 12 foot six or well, roughly on all these inflatable touring boards uh it's been an awesome day it's been super busy we've got out on literally every single board and tested them out filmed every single board but there's still more to come we spent other previous days getting out on the water with them and take, also taking all the dimensions and measurements of them and it was probably a few more days worth of filming and, and testing them so keep an eye out for that review if you're into this sort of board if you're into touring if you're new to paddle boarding and you want a board that's going to take you a little bit further than the general all-rounders then these are the sorts of boards you should be looking at and this review is going to help you choose one um, so thanks for watching if you like this sort of thing please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time